Hey, what's up, fellow vinyl junkies, crate junkies out there? It's Test Dummy 22, and I restrained myself big time today. Um, actually, I missed one thing. Hold on, I'll be right back. Restrained myself immensely today. Um, I could have got so much stuff, man. I'm glad I didn't because now I have money. Um, but I did get a couple things and I didn't spend a lot at all. So, and I have a heart on my tongue. Yeah, you're right. Because I swallowed the second ball. I was eating Chinese food, swallowed a ball, and I couldn't find anything to put on top of it. So, some girl gave me her heart. She gave me her heart. Aww. Anyway. Um, no, but it really helps save my ass because I don't have any balls. So I'm like swallowing balls. Just swallowing balls. Ha, ah, swallowing balls. Okay, let's get to the pickups. Um, we're going to start off with like the cheaper stuff and work our way up to the better stuff. Stop by a Hope Rescue Mission that barely ever has anything. Um, they have usually like 10 records and I usually don't get anything from them. But they had a couple cool things today. And, um, I don't really pick up Sinatra stuff, but I like the condition of this, and I never, this is one I don't see a lot. And I like the fact that he was sitting at a bar, oh, it just looks pretty cool, it's called No One Cares, Sinatra. Um, I'm going to start picking up Sinatra and getting my Sinatra collection thick, you know, because, I mean, I, who doesn't like Sinatra? I mean, I like Sinatra, I just... Never really picked this stuff up, and it's in such good shape. I mean, the vinyl's like beautiful. The the jacket's you know as good as it gets. Um, next one, and these were fifty cents. Um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and this is one I see in dollar bins a lot. Uh, this is uh, self-titled on Coalition. That's in good shape too, and that's kind of why I picked it up. Fifty cents can't really beat that. Uh, next one, man, do I never pick up this woman's records? I don't know why. I think it was just because it was 50 cents, and I don't know. I just did it. Don't ask me why. Actually, I'll tell you why. It's Barbara Streisand, and it's called Stony End. And the reason why I picked this up is because, unlike all her other albums, besides the one where she's standing there in a Superman um, thing, which is hot, and I never listened to that, but I do have it. This record actually looks like a record. You know, it has a, a photography picture here on the front. It's actually interesting. She's sitting in the back of this old Ford, you know, Chevy old school truck, you know, mountain in the back. The, the album title, Stony End, is, is creative. It just seems like a creative album. And she, you know, she was good looking when she was young. So I picked it up, and it was in, like, mint condition. So I figured, you know what, this might be a Streisand album that... And it's not one that I see, either. So that's another reason why I picked it up. I usually do that with with people that I see a lot. I don't pick up their shit unless, like, it's something that you never see. Um, these next two are pretty good. This is Duke Ellington. Uh, the Ellington Ing Indigos. And, uh... Obviously, jazz great Duke Ellington. I mean, you can't really beat that. This is on Columbia, and it's like mint condition. This one needs a sleeve, but it's mint. It's beautiful. Um, and it's Duke Ellington, for crying out loud. I mean, I don't really get to see his stuff around a lot. I don't see him um, in any bins. But uh, out of, you know, the 20 records that were there, this Duke Ellington one was probably my favorite one. But, there is, and this is called, uh, like I said, the Ellington In Indigos. Ellington Indigos. And uh, Duke Ellington and his orchestra. Before I go on to the next record, I almost forgot to mention, I am playing Parliament. Pin the tail on the funk, or pin the tail on the funky. Reissue. Pretty good record to just vibe out to. I don't think, uh, you know, really nothing more than that. I'm not as impressed as I thought I was going to be. 
I'm more of a Funkadelic fan than, than Parliament. I mean, at least this Parliament album, it's okay. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not good, but it's not... It's more of like a just chill, groove out thing, which I guess is that's what it's meant for. I don't know. I always look for like deeper meaning in my music. Um, next one. This is another good one. Another Duke Ellington. Um, this is Battle Royal. The Duke meets the Count. Duke Ellington and Count Basie. And this one is in really good shape, too. Um... So it's two great orchestras, Duke Ellington and Count Basie. The Count meets the Duke. Um, just seems like a really good record, and it's like mid condition, man. Um, I don't see a date on here. Yeah, see, this Parliament shit is getting my head bobbing. That's what it's supposed to do, man. I like this. But, uh, yeah, man, another Duke Ellington, another great, I mean, for 50 cents, I'm not gonna, no way I'm passing that up. Then I, I drove all the way up to, uh, this place in Kutztown called Young Ones. Um, man, there's this girl up there, her name's Emily, right? And she had this tattoo on her of, a, like, a spaceship, or not a spaceship, of, uh, an astronaut. I, I asked her, I was like, what's that? You know, where'd you get that done? It looks really nice. And she goes, oh, I got it done up here by Donny Park at this place, Mind's Eye, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, that's really cool. What is it? And she told me it's the front cover of an album. And I said, well, what album is it? Because if you're getting a tattoo on you, it must be a pretty good album. She told me it's brand new, deja vu, something or other. So I was like, I got to find that album. It wasn't there, but I did go to the mall later and pick it up. And this is the tattoo she got on her. It's not finished yet, but... Man, is it hot. It's so sexy. And this this woman, man, I will tell you something. You know how when you see somebody and you just automatically just know something. You're just like, that woman is like, I'm telling you, man. Like, I mean, she's a, I, I'm speechless. Just talking about her, I can't even, I can't even explain how gorgeous she is. I mean, she's like your perfect type. She's not too over the top, you know what I mean? Like, she's not like overly, like outrageously with her style, but she's really sexy and really like cute at the same time. And she has like this, I don't know, man, her piercings are really hot and sexy, but she's, she seems like more like a quiet type, but then you can also tell she's like outspoken at times. You can like, I don't know. All right, I'm just going to stop because like, I'm, I'm very infatuated with her. But um, anyway, this album... I listened to a little bit of it on the way home, and the first, like, two or three tracks, and yeah, it sounds pretty good. Um, it's definitely, like, indie rock, and, uh, like, I'm not really into that, like, whole depressed, depressed stuff, but for her, I think I'm going to give it a try. Um, definitely going to listen to this, and just try to understand why she would get it tattooed on her, and, you know, so brand new, and the album is Deja Extendu, ex extend, Extended, Extended? Okay, so then up at that shop with her up there, I got this, and this is um, Armored Saint, and it is, what the hell is the name of this? Delirious Nomad. I seen this down in Philly last week, and I thought it looked really interesting, but he wanted way too much for it. Um, down in Philly, I think they wanted like close to 15, 16 bucks. And up here, I got it for a cheap, cheap price. Um, it's in great condition on the Charisma. Um, and it looks really interesting. I probably should know what the hell this is, but I don't. I really like the back. Like nuclear fallout or something. It, it looks really cool. It looks like it's going to be one hell of a, one hell of an album. Armored Saint. So I picked that up. And then I picked up a new album. And um, this is Dead Can't Dance. Anastasia. Anastasius. Yeah, Anastasis. Anastasis. Now, I don't know if... Yeah, this is, I think, their new album. I've been meaning to pick up A Dead Can't Dance. Dead Can't can Dance um, album. I've been meaning to pick up something from them. Um, 
And honestly, I would have picked up anything by them. And I think this is their newer one. So we'll open it, because I'm not... I got this little rule lately. I haven't been uh, keeping stuff sealed. This shirt is, like, awkward. It, like, creeps up your shoulder. Anyway, the gatefold isn't... I don't think it's anything special, but... And um, the vinyl, I'm almost going to bet that that's... Ooh, okay. Okay, I was wrong. The vinyl's something. Oh, yeah. Got some nice, clear, cloudy-type vinyl. Definitely not, like, clear see... It is see-through, but it's more cloudy. And some nice, just some nice labels, a solid blue and solid green. Um, and some nice inner sleeves, too. Just some black paper sleeves here. But, um... This Dead Can Dance... Um, you know, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. I've been meaning to pick up something by them. Now, I've heard some stuff on the internet, and I'm definitely digging it, so... I cannot wait to listen to this and give it a spin. Um... I think the other one's pretty much the same thing. Uh, just different labels. This one's purple and orange. But I really like the artwork. It's a, It looks like a sunflower field, field. And this, I think it comes with a download code, too. And there's another nice thing about it. The sticker is actually on the record already, which is good. I like that. I don't like now, because I, now I ain't got to peel it off of some stupid-ass plastic. It's already on the record, and that's fine. I like that. Um, but we'll open it up this way. Check out that sunflower field. So it's really cool. It's like a dead sunflower field. Really nice photography. Um, but yeah, pick that up. And this was the only new album I got. It, this this was like twenty bucks. But other than that, I, I you know I didn't spend a lot of money at all. Uh, the Duke Ellingtons, you know, and that Armored Saint, really good stuff. And this, I kind of recommend this. This is this is so far pretty good. Um, brand new. I'm, I'm probably like way far behind on the boat with these guys. I've heard of them and I actually think I have one or two things by them um, on 7 inch or something but I never really got around to listen to it but yeah there it is. So anyway, Test Me 22 Crate Junkies. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep on watching. Go back and watch some of my other videos. There's a couple that I put up that you probably missed. Um, peace. Love you.